everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another vlog. This is your boy Pablo once again, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to take photos of cars professionally, kinda. <laughs> but anyways, this video is gonna consist on four parts. Uh, it's gonna be a uh, location, composition, shots, and edits, and um, I hope you like this video, and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's gonna be a cool video. So without further ado, let's start with the location. All right, guys, so the first step is gonna be location. When I go out and I start doing a photo shoot, the first thing I think is, where am I gonna do it at? It's gotta be a nice location. Uh, it's gotta be green. Most of the time I have green on my pictures because I really like how it pops in, uh, in Lightroom after I edit and everything. We have right here some depth of field in the background. We also have some green right here. Step number one, pick a good location. And the sun is right up on my face and I love that. So uh, let's go into step number two. All right guys, so number two is gonna be composition and shots. Which I, what I mean by that is how you're gonna take your shots and what position your car is gonna be on. So in this case, I'm gonna show you right now. So composition is how you're gonna position your car in the picture. So in this case, I'm gonna put it right there and I might go down like this. Boom, perfect shot right there. You know, I don't even see the, the, the trash can in the back because I'm leaning down. I'm also gonna look at how it's gonna look like this, which obviously we have that tank in the back, it's not gonna be great, but if we go down, we have the green right here, and we have like a little bit of sky, and a little bit of street right there, which is what, what you wanna do when you're thinking about your shots. Now, we're gonna go back to the back. Uh, you see that right here, this picture looks perfect. It has this cool, it has this cool right here, some trees right here, the sky looks perfect. We have a street, a street, and then you have a little bit of you know, background right there as well. Uh, and then the last one at least is gonna be on this side. And then, boom, you go right here. You have the building right here, the trees. Uh, we have a big building right here. So this composition is successful. I really like this place. Even though it's not the perfect place to do a, a photo shoot because of the trash can and everything, I can get a couple of shots. And that's what most of the time people are looking for different shots, different styles of pictures and things like that. And also keep in mind, you're gonna need some green in the background, some streets, something that you can put in the picture. So when you edit the picture, you have all these colors that can come alive and it's just perfect. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, now shots. You wanna take about two shots of the sides. You're gonna take two, two shots right here on this. You see, it looks perfect right here, except for that right there. Two shots like this. Then we're gonna move on and take two shots like this. Maybe you lean down and you take two more. That's about six shots. We're gonna go and do this side as well. Boom, eight shots. And make sure you don't overdo it. Like just two, two, just pick two shots that you know is gonna work, and boom. And then you're gonna go back here, another two shots of stand, and go back to the back, another two shots. That's about 12. And last but not least, going back to this direction, boom, two more. You can also go like this and have two more. So. So basically, there is no limit of how many shots you can take, but it's gonna be easier for you when you do the edit because you're not gonna have to like go through so many pictures. So about 20 to 30 shots per site, perfect. That's gonna be it for you. 20 to 30 and that's, I just did the math for you, I just did the count, so it shouldn't be hard to do. Now the last part, it's gonna be edit. Alright, the last part is gonna be editing the pictures, which I'm about to do right now. Uh, since this is the part that takes me the most, I usually go to a restaurant, have a beer, or Starbucks and have a coffee or what now, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you like a, a quick time lapse of me editing the pictures. But pretty much what you have to do is have two things, Lightroom 
and you gotta have some skills which is you can you can have those skills just by playing with the app so if you don't have Lightroom or you're not familiar with Lightroom it's super easy to use it's an application by Adobe just like Photoshop and uh, Premiere Pro and anything like that it's called Lightroom and if you don't know what it's about I'm pretty sure everybody knows already but if you don't I'm gonna leave a link in the description below super easy to use and I mean it's amazing it's really no science to it make sure the picture looks great and when you're done with it you post it on Instagram and you're good to go which I'm also gonna show you right now um, for the tags I also have like a set of tags that I have written on, on my notes uh, just because I don't want to do I don't want to like do every tag every single time I upload a picture which is like about twice a day so Imagine if I have to type every tag, I'll, I'll spend like forever on it. So anyways, with that being said, have your tags ready, go to Lightroom, download the app, and start editing your pictures like a professional. So without further ado, let's do this. Yeah. Okay guys, so just like that, alright guys, so just like that, I uploaded the picture to Instagram and it's live. So if you watch the video, please go comment on the post to see if you watch the video or not. It's, it's just, for, just for fun. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe because I post videos every weekend. And you don't want to miss because they're about cars and about vlogs, you know what I'm saying? So hey, thank you so much for watching. Your boy Pablo's out and I'll see you next time.